Bicycles. What a great invention. Please, if you've ever ridden your bike, raise your hand, please. In the 1800s, enthusiasts began building bikes of a very unique type. As long as there have been railroads and railroad tracks, people have been building bicycles to ride the rusty ribbons of steel. The guru of modern day rail biking was a dentist from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. The late Dick Smart rode over 30,000 miles on abandoned track around the world. As pictured here in the early 70s, he rode the famed 16 mile canyon, which is just 25 miles from where you're sitting. In 1985, I was invited to ride with Dick on abandoned track in northern Idaho, and we were soon in the deep, dark depths of a quarter mile tunnel. As William Least Heat Moon once wrote after an interview with Dick, the rails lead you to places few people have ever visited. But at the time, we were living on an island in the Puget Sound. There were no railroad tracks nearby, just ferry boats. So I gave up the idea of rail biking for the next 30 years. Upon moving to Santa Cruz, California in 2015, we discovered there existed 25 miles of recently abandoned track along the coastal bluffs. A New York rail bike enthusiast who had ridden with Dick shared plans for a rail bike. And my wife was the test pilot. Soon, we were off and rolling, riding our, whale, our rail bike alone on a rail right of way few even knew existed. We explored the harbor, we crossed the coastal bluffs, we rode through forest. We were on trestles inaccessible to most. The words of William Least Heat Moon rang in my head. The rails did indeed take you to places few people have ever visited. But one rail bike in a family makes for a lonely ride, so I built a second bike. Now, Anna and I could ride together to picnic on the bluffs, or ride the five miles over trestles and through forests to Mary Ann's ice cream in Aptos. Friends and family rode the rails with us. Some even built bikes of their own. This fellow's bike folds up to fit in a suitcase so he could come ride with us in Montana. You can see from their faces, the bikes are secure on the track. We discovered 20 miles of abandoned track between the mining towns of Placerville and Folsom, California. This was my first exposure to the hand-hewn history of building the railroads throughout the West. Carved out of solid stone in the 1800s were railroad lines in Montana with names like Jawbone, Turkey Red Special, Milwaukee, Hiawatha. The history of the railroads is written with blood, sweat, and tears. It is a history of vision, ambition, and greed. And typically, when a rail line is abandoned and the track pulled up, the right-of-way is lost to private ownership. And we all can thank the Gallatin Valley Land Trust for saving the Galligator right-of-way for all of us to enjoy. The Butte Short Line, laid down in 1890, still snakes its way over the Continental Divide. The North Coast Limited offered the likes of the Bear family the means to commute from their sheep ranch in Martinsdale to the urban sophistication of Portland. The Burlington Northern Santa Fe stopped using this track in 1983. The track became densely overgrown with sagebrush and pine trees. It was a labor of love for us to clear the track for our fun. In our quest for abandoned track, we traveled to out-of-the-way places like Pony, Castle, Ringling, Menard, sites of historic railroads. 
The track there had all been pulled up. All that remained there were the scenic wonders of the last best place. Where we did find abandoned track, we also found challenges. Timbers supporting the ceilings of dark tunnels may have rotted and collapsed. Washouts, landslides, downed trees, all made for unexpected obstacles around the next bend. Our real bikes were like time machines. We could imagine the steam locomotives, the boxcar-laden freight trains, the white linen dining cars. Can't you hear that whistle blowing? <coughs> Wherever your adventurous spirit might draw you, down whatever sylvan path you might follow, I'll leave you with these words of wisdom from Dick Smart like the kid who was caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Ask for forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> of those who ride the rails, it is said, hobos travel and work. Bums travel and drink. Tramps travel and dream. When you follow your dream, you just might end up on track.